Before we get into this video, guys, if you guys are looking to improve your skills in the six, I will leave a link down in the description. Go check out Fatal Grips and use Rich at checkout for 10% off. What's up, guys? Welcome to today's video. In the second part of a two-part review with the bitter rivals, Roy Keane and Patrick Vieira. And today we are going to be taking a look at the Frenchman and Arsenal legend, Patrick Vieira. Now, this six foot four midfielder, guys, shows his presence throughout the game. This guy played unbelievable before for unbelievable for me excuse me jeez um, and Keen and him were really 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 good in the midfield it was definitely hard for the opposition to get through that midfield because of how strong how big and just how well these guys play and feel on this game defensively especially now Vieira was also very good going forward and I'll talk about that um, a little bit later in the pros and cons um, but now we're going to go ahead and take a look at his face card stats. 84 pace, 71 shot, 79 passing, 82 dribbling, 85 defense, and 91 physical. He also has a 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, that medium high work rate. And in 6 games, guys, I scored 3 goals and had 2 assists with Vieira. Pretty much did everything for me. This guy was awesome, and I had a ton of fun playing with him and Keane as well. It was cool having this like rivals team with a half-Arsenal, half-Man United team. Uh, it was fun how it worked out, and I definitely had a fun time playing with this guy. Uh, but without further ado, guys, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the in-game stats, and then the highlights right after that. Vieira's in-game stats, guys, 94 aggression, 91 interceptions, 88 vision, 86 acceleration, 87 reactions, 89 stamina, and 91 strength. He also has 85 ball control, 83 dribbling, 84 long passing, 82 marking, 86 short passing, as well as 82 slide tackling and 88 standing tackling rating with a 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, that medium high work rate, and a playmaker, tactician, and strength specialities, as well as the injury prone and power header trait. This dude is overall beast. So we're going to go ahead, guys, and take a look at some highlights and get right into the pros and cons for Patrick Vieira. My first pro for this card is Vieira's strength. With a 91 physical rating on his face card as well as a 94 aggression and 91 strength rating, uh, Vieira is definitely a force to be reckoned with on this game. His 6'4 frame just adds to the presence that he has in the midfield as a beast. He can shove people off the ball or he can hold them up on offense with the ball. He just really can do it all. His strength definitely helped with one of his pros, which I'll talk about a little bit later, um, and that is his passing. Being able to hold off defenders and take on uh, more than one, open up lanes for his teammates where he was able to find them for a go on goal. My second pro for Vieira is his tackling. Keen and Vieira have very similar stats as far, if you couldn't tell, with an 85 defensive rating on his face card, as well as 91 interceptions, 88 standing tackling, and an 82 slide tackling rating. Like Keen, Vieira can play, really play CM or CDM and thrive in either position. Vera's tackles, as you'll see in the highlights, often lead to a swift change of possession and can change from defending in your own box to breaking away from the defenders with a sweet pass from Vieira. Uh, like basketball, Vieira has a really good outlet pass. My third pro for Vieira, one that I mentioned earlier, is his passing. With good passing stats, Vieira did a really nice job of hitting attackers on the run, as well as passing within build-up play. Uh, he's really a give-and-go type of guy and does a very good job of holding up possession. He only had two assists in the six games played, um, but he could easily have had more had his teammates finished off some of the chances and if the goalies weren't making unreal saves like they seem to be making on me all of these six games. Now, I only have one con for Vieira, and that is his shooting. Now, this really goes for his finishing as well, as you'll see in the highlights. Uh, I had some go for range with Vieira, and he really just couldn't put one home. I was a bit disappointed in his shooting. His ball doesn't just have life to it, and it's impossible to score from the outside the box with him. The only way to score is to dribble through the whole team in the box or score off a corner. Uh, Vieira's shooting was a bit of a letdown, but I didn't let it overshadow the upside of Vieira's card, which is now going to lead me into the overall summary of uh, Patrick Vieira, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves a 9.2 out of 10. A solid midfielder, you can feel Vieira's presence not only by his huge stature, but by his great defensive play and passing that he brings to the table for the team. His pros and cons are listed as well as the goals and assists I had in the games played. So up next in the review, guys, we have a triple review with a bunch of English legends, including Gary Lineker, Teddy Sheringham, and Gary Neville. 
Uh, we're coming up on the tail end of these legends, guys, and it looks like the only two that I'm not going to be able to afford, as I said before, are Pele and Hullet. If you guys are lucky enough to have one of these guys on your account, even if it's a lone player, I do not care. I just want to do a review on them so I can get all of the legends. I want to do all of the legend reviews. I feel like that'd be a pretty cool accomplishment. Um, and you guys can always DM me on Twitter about that. As always, guys, feedback is appreciated. If you're feeling crazy, hit that like or subscribe button. I appreciate you guys checking out this review, and until next time, I will talk to you later. You, you play me.